Hey guys, cool blonde way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we are here with our first episode of Superman, the animated series, as voted over at blindwave.com, uh, all based on your guys' recommendations. Yep. But this is after Batman, so we've watched all of Batman. If you missed that, make sure you check it out. It's here on the channel. Yeah. You can see our entire journey. You can watch the, the whole show with series. us. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited to uh, dive into this. I've never seen any of Superman. Yeah, when I was a kid, I watched Batman the Animated Series, and I was always more of a Batman person, but uh, I've never seen Superman the Animated Series. Yeah. So. Neither have I. Um, most of my episode. experience with Superman had been through the original movies, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the the stuff from the Arrowverse, Superman mm -hmm. and Lois, um, and then I watched a little bit of like uh, Lois and Clark. Gotcha. With uh, Dean Kane. Dean yeah. Kane sounds yeah, like a name is, that, that certainly is him. Um, my, I, I loved the Christopher Reeve Superman movies, yeah. even the bad ones. Uh, bad ones? Yep. Uh, oh, my God. What? There's one that Rick loves. That's what I'm telling you. It's no, real I, bad. I know. Just... Uh, Smallville. I watched uh, a little Smallville. Smallville was, was this my jam. I watched the Smallville reaction got me, to this finale. You know what? Smallville got me through. Yeah. Look at that one guy. <laughs> 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 That's one of the first reaction videos I've ever seen. Yeah. It changed my life, that video. <laughs> um, in Smallville, honestly, Smallville got me through like dark parts of my life. So that's really important to me. Hmm. Um, and now we're going to be checking. I mean, obviously, you know, Man of Steel, I, I really enjoy that. Sure. And not so much some of the other stuff, but we're on the precipice of a new Superman, a new DC universe when it comes to the like the movie cinematic stuff. And we should also mention the animated universe also. We've seen. Several yes. of those movies. Of the movies, the, yes. The DC animated yeah. universe, yeah. Yeah, but from what I understand, this is technically the same universe as Batman the Animated Series, so we're not going into it uh, completely uh, free. We, we do have that there, so. Interesting. And yeah. we did have a tiny crossover or mention or two. Girls Night Out. Yeah. Yeah, with Supergirl. It came again. No Superman, though. Nope. So I don't even know what he looks like in this. Your cousin. Yeah. All right, so uh, does this just jump in and Superman already exists, or do you think we have an actual origin? Or I'm not um, interested. I don't know. Uh, Batman kind of just jumped into things, yeah. so mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm and he kind of sure went we back and saw a little that. bit, but not much. First, we talked that Batman happened first and Superman came later. Yeah. But I don't know how well known either were in yeah. like the grand scheme of the time. Uh huh. So I don't know. We're interested to see what we do. Yep. Yeah. These are always fun days where we're about ready to watch something the first time. Yes. Uh, with this being on YouTube as well, uh, there is the next four episodes available over at blindwave.com. Yep. And with all those, there's also full length available over there for all those episodes as well. Mm -hmm. um, with this one being the first of the series, it is available for full length, whether you're a patron or a Beyond member or, or not. So you can check the link down in the description below or go over to the website at blindwave.com and uh, sync up your footage. We're going to be watching this off of HBO's uh, Max and uh, uh, sync it up together. Yeah. Damn, I keep calling it HBO Max. That's why I put an apostrophe in there. HBO's Max. <laughs> well, by the time they're watching it, who knows what it'll be called. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Dumb. All right. Subscribe. Let's and we're going to be going week to week. Uh, yes! I'm Spoilers. guessing this is an intro. I think this is not. Yeah, this is the But intro. is it using stuff from the show? Batman did not. Okay. I don't hate this song. This is good. I don't think I've ever heard this before. I don't like how pointed his toes are, but it's cool. His feet were like a third of his body length. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be from the show. I'm so sad. Yeah, I'm kind of not watching it, <laughs> just in case it is. You're watching everything? I'm listening to the music. Because I don't know everything that this is to do with. Ah, that was a cool shot, though. Oh, damn, I missed it. You missed it. Oh, I'm sure I'll see it. The I'm sure you will. Son of Krypton. Part one. Run, oh. Ooze, run! <laughs> what are those guys? Sector 17 Alpha. Log date 8313 Omega 3. Jorel speaking. Jorel. I hated that. You've probed too deep. Toxic gas. 
Whoa. Ew. 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 What oh, is that? My gosh. Ew. This is what I'm afraid they're going to uncover in the Arctic somewhere. Uh, Metroid. It kind of is, yeah. Get back in your little car thing and fly! Go quick. Oh, it's attached. Did, so did he release this from the probe? I don't know. I think the, uh, I think the probe, like, shook it loose and it, like, it's awakens this, like, a Krypton Balrog. Stab him on a stalactite. Yes, good. He's, he's breaking the ice. And then melt a hole through the surface of the planet. Ice to meet you. Yeah. It's like a lamprey. Yeah. Ugh. He is rather calm. <laughs> Found another cave sucker today. <laughs> Frostbite, ice monsters, same old, same old. Alright, yeah, I guess he's just jaded. Yeah. Good afternoon, Jorel. Brainiac. Well, I know that's some Brainiac. Brainiac. Data received. Ending transmission. You're welcome, Glutton. Just wants data. <laughs> yeah. Just wants data. Hey, Cal. Oh, Cal. You can never let it go. You have an ego the size of Argos. I never let my ego get in the way of the facts. Well, let me let you in on a little fact. Unless uh, Brunier agrees with you, it's all over. No more expeditions, no more research, no more... Uh, Planet? It's another Templar. Can I? Their shit's breaking. Look at how they built it. Jeez, man, I'm look bad real quick. Unsupported. Look at that. that falling over. It's like it's the only reason is because it's a ship. Each of you should have my report. It distills all the data I've gathered so far and leaves no doubt that. And leaves no doubt that the planet's core is undergoing a mounting chain reaction that will eventually destroy Krypton. Lunacy. Ask Brainiac. Yes, Brainiac. He'll tell us. Man, they just listen to Brainiac, huh? He's their AI. One can appreciate Jor-El's hard work. However, he is still mistaken. As I've stated before, the Templars are the result of a slight polar shift. No more. There isn't a square foot of this planet Brainiac doesn't know. He, he didn't have the data until... As I might add, sir, yeah, far him. better than upstart scientists with apocalyptic visions. So Your faith in him will be the end of us all. It's too topical. Our belief. How do you propose to do that? Put everyone in the phantom zone. Oh. <laughs> Strong, Jorel. So, son, how does it feel not to have a worry in the world? <laughs> he has a worry in the world. <laughs> deep, deep within. Think we can get the baby to bed early? I have to go down to Brainiac Operations. No. Gosh darn it. Lara, he's lying. He's a machine. He's still lying. I have to know why. Has it occurred to you that Brainiac could be right? That somewhere along the way you might have made a mistake? I mean, it's no crime to be wrong, Jarrell. Please. It is if you're intentionally Go, wrong. Jarell. Find out once and for all. We've lived like this too long. The same. Your theories are more destructive than you can imagine. You go with Jarrell's, and if he's wrong, good. If you go with Brainiac and he's wrong, then a lot of trouble. I like that she has a spit curl and he has a receding hairline. <laughs> May I be of service? Just trying to find out why we disagree, Brainiac. Human error, I'm afraid. Funny. I didn't think you were afraid of anything. Also, I didn't think he was human. Let's just see if I can override that. Mm, you're shutting me out. Why do I get the feeling you're trying to hide something? Security. I thought that guy was frozen. <laughs> I, yeah, I, was, I thought he was in, in a... an elevator. Access denied. I don't think so. No, you had your glove on. I couldn't. <laughs> You're downloading. You're transmitting your memory to a satellite. You're saving yourself. How much time is left? Hours. 
Oh, this world has seen its last sunrise. Hold it right there. Jorel, we received an alert from Brainiac. There's an intruder. He's, He's the intruder. intruder. Arrest him. Ah. Why do they look like Juggernaut? That's right. Jorel has just fled SATCOM. Secure station. Be warned, he is armed. Use of deadly force is advised. Man, they just rely on this guy. This is why I don't want to have any eyes telling me what to do. I don't want him to decide the world's over. <laughs> well, he's not deciding. Right? The world decided, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> the world's gonna blow up either way. I mean... What is Asgard? Alright. <laughs> he thinks he's flying down. What's his plan? Alright, run. Oh no, his arm square is broken. Remember when I told you what we'd do if worse came to worse? No. I'm sorry. I never thought it would come to this. Sulvan, if you love your grandson and care one whit about his future, you'll kindly shut up. <laughs> little blankie. Mm -hmm. Wrap him in the blankie. Well, that's Damn, that's what they mean by putting him to bed early. The ship will get him there. I know, I built it. It was part of the plan. Save everyone in the Phantom Zone, travel to Earth, then bring them back. Now it's only good for a lifeboat. And the passenger will be my son. The last son of Krypton. Mm, interesting. Father, I love you dearly. But this is my baby's life. But he can't outrun the police. Do you have a better idea? He can outrun the police. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like a distraction, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, waited for me to use X-ray vision. Just the right time. And right now the stairs. Be fair, that's an incredible shot. Handgun. But crash bags! No. Restraints. You launch him and just oh, when it comes out. Okay, I was yeah. like, Jesus. Jorel's escaped their perimeter. They're requesting further instructions. It doesn't matter anymore. Farewell, Krypton. Hey, what's going on? Where's Brainiac? I thought that was Brainiac's symbol on that in the first shot. Yeah. <laughs> Watching himself on a set like this space, huh? Goodbye, Kala. Dude, it's a lot like the first movie. Mm hmm. Jeez. Some of the other ones are hard to watch. Yeah. Through and they all crash. Damn! All right, so the show is starting out with giving you the origin. It's a hell of a first episode. Yeah, and casting Brainiac as the a potential big bad mm -hmm. is good too. Interesting. Yeah, having the Brainiac be like. Like, his idea is that it's too far gone, there's nothing to be done, they would just waste time and have me waste time when I could be doing this. And yeah. at least I will survive. Well, he's sure. like, the history yeah. of Krypton but will survive. He said, Jor like, it's more... Idea. He did, yeah. And, then it, and it seemed like it, it might have been able to work, but I think Brainiac is like, if I do that, I won't be able to save myself, and shouldn't I be the one that's saved? Mm -hmm. Like, I am the 
the culmination of what Krypton is. Yeah. Like not the last of what Krypton was. You know, Kryptonians would have survived, but yeah, yeah. Brainiac is like, well, I'm most important, mm-hmm. so I should survive. Though I, I did like Jarl's plan, and if you take the put, it, put everybody in the Phantom Zone and then send one person to, to Earth. Earth and then let them all out, mm-hmm. and then they can go to another planet from there. I knew there was a place called Earth that if I go there, I'm a god. Like I don't know why I sent Krypton. <laughs> yeah, I wonder I'm sure they, some like they wouldn't even fucking have to try to build yeah. a spacecraft to go to another planet. They could just fucking well. Once you absorb that go. that yellow energy, you, yeah. you can just fly through space. That's what I mean. But like, what is the downside? Maybe there's a there's something in their culture or religion that, and they don't they don't want to abandon their home. I don't know. Maybe they don't know. Maybe mm-hmm. they don't know. I don't know. No idea. They know of Earth. They just don't know the effects of the yellow sun in Smallville. Jor-El visited Earth once, and he looked like Tom Welling, but it wasn't really. Really? Yeah. Hey, this looks guy. Look, I'm assuming that's what Superman will look like, kind of like what Jor-El just with spec curl. Which his mom had. Yeah, with his mom. I make sure she had too. The, she had the blue eyes. Like baby yeah. should be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want to uh, see. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, can we see the voice cast? Christopher McDonald is George. Oh man, Corey, Corey Burton. Burton. We definitely heard Corey Burton. You oh, know, yeah. at one point I was thinking Corey Burton, but then I was like, no, it doesn't sound like him. Tony J. He's definitely done some other work. Salvan. Yeah. Yeah, he sounded very familiar too. Which one are you looking up, Aaron? Tony. Frollo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay. Yes. Yes. Like that definitely kind of rings in there a little bit. You know Christopher McDonald. No man shall. Yeah. Christopher McDonald. Shooter McGavin. <laughs> we know oh, him. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And then I what knew was, I knew his name. What was he in recently? They're like, hey, it's him. And then like, I didn't want to do much. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> oh, it was uh, MCU. It was... Uh, it was MCU. Uh, that's right. Nick Fury. Uh, Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion. Yes. That whole show was like, oh, oh they had no idea anything. Brainiac did use the phrase human error. Do you think they just refer to themselves as, or is that just a as mess human? up? When they're like Kryptonians, a, they're... It's one of those things where it's like they... a computer error by calling them humans? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Rather than saying a yeah. Kryptonian error? Is that what sure, you're saying? Sure, yeah. I mean, I, I, I suppose I mean, there's like an element of like... There is the idea that like... Earth was seeded. Humans are... Like a, a type of people, not just like Terrans. Mm-hmm. Not only Terrans can be humans, yeah, but like sure. a lot of different people can be human. Yeah, but sure. I think Terrans don't get powers from the yellow sun. I think it's just a thing of like them writing it, and that's just something that slipped through the cracks, kind of thing. Where he probably should have said a Kryptonian error. Yeah. But okay. it said human error. And then when watching it, especially as a kid, you're just like, oh, the human messed mm-hmm. up. Yeah. But you're not thinking, like, wait, he's not human. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the people on Earth messed up his experiment. And I do like <laughs> how the explosions themselves were green. Sure. You know, I've seen yeah. Krypton's destruction before. I never really seen it. Seen that before. So that was cool. The only time I really remember it was in that when we rewatched the movie the, mm-hmm. that we did the reaction to on the channel. Mm, Man of Steel? No. Uh, the Christopher Reeve one. Oh, uh, Superman. The original movie. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Did like, we do Man of Steel? We didn't do it on the channel. That's right. Rick... I don't think we... No, we did. You watched it, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. And Rick rewatched it. Yes. But I think so. Um, that but was yeah. Christopher Reeve, that one there. And I don't remember that scene being in there, but in mm-hmm. the very beginning, they, they cover a lot of this there. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's, cool. that's where I've seen this story previously from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's a little easier to watch. Yeah. But with this one here, like, we still have, like, they're gonna, I assume there's going to be a part two, which is mm-hmm. what happens when he lands kind of thing, you know? We'll go I love that the kind Kents. Of yeah. Yeah. I did, I uh, also caught the the moment when they're like great row. Yeah. Where like that's like a, I remember in Supergirl like that was like a mentioning like God of theirs kind of thing. Mm. Kryptonian God that they have their own religion so they have cool. a God for it. Yep. So it was just a neat little tie into yeah, that too. That's cool. And man, Krypton. I'm glad it blew up because hopefully it took all those bug amoeba monsters with it. Ugh. Shagoths. Yeah. Shagoths. I hate that thing. I hate it. It like. What about the little it's hoppy like a, runny thing? Those are cool, but those little like eyeballs I, on yeah. worthy sacrifice to kill them. What? <laughs> There's like brains and goo with tentacles. 
I was waiting for it to be a flower. And you know what? That little white dog, which they also have dogs. Mm -hmm. A little white dog. I was like, oh, it could be crypto. I don't know how crypto he's survives. Dead. He seems he's like he's now. a dead dog. Like that dog died. But also, if you watch like, I don't know, if you watch or read most Superman things, you'd be like, oh well, Clark. He's the only Kryptonian. No one else made it off that planet. Sure. But then, like later on, when you get into things like the second movie or you know whatever it is, like wow, Kara. there's other ways of things to happen. Mm -hmm. So maybe the dog didn't make it off. Maybe. Well, maybe we'll find out in the show. There are other ways things could happen, and uh, we'll figure out what they decide. Yeah, and there's gonna be interesting kind of scene because it, it's gonna be like Batman, where it's like there's knowledge I already have, yeah. but like how's this gonna be versus yeah. this just being like I don't know anything and I'm watching through. So sure. yeah. it's always a weird thing of trying to balance like how much should I say and shouldn't say, you know? Mm. Like what I'm doing in Spider Man right now too. Yeah. yeah, sure. I, it's I like sometimes I don't want to say because some people might not know this. Agreed. So yeah. it's, it's tricky. Well, the first thing that we saw was that satellite going through space, and I wanted to go right next <laughs> because of the symbols, you know? I was like, maybe I shouldn't. Who knows? But no, I thought it was just like a little Easter egg, but no, Brainiac was there. And mm -hmm. uh, he, if anyone is responsible, feels responsible for at least the destruction of the Kryptonians, not necessarily Krypton. But uh, we'll see how that develops uh, yeah. as the show goes on. Yeah. I'm yeah. Fun to see. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. See you guys next time. And if you don't want to wait until next time, you can make that next time right now by going to blindwave.com and watching the next four videos mm -hmm. that we have for this series. And we hope that you guys enjoy that if you do that. If not, we'll see you back here next week. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow along the journey of Superman, the anime series.